This is one of the world's first design agents that works 24 seven and can create a visual identity while I sleep. I'm actually gonna show you how to use Lovart to create a visual identity and the AI actually designs the whole process for me. So let's jump into it. This is Lovart. This is the main page that you're on. It's currently in beta, but they will be releasing it soon. You've got your main prompt box here at the top. And if you scroll down, you can see what people are creating in the community. So I'm gonna go and put my prompt in. I wanna say create a visual identity that includes a logo, colors, fonts, a watch design and packaging for a brand called Kairos, which is a futuristic watch um, design, which I came out with. You can also um, tick on internet search and it will do a search. I can also upload an inspiration image. So I'm gonna quickly click upload and I'm just gonna put the image that I created and I'm gonna use that as a bit of inspiration. And then I'm just gonna press enter and we're good to go. It will create another page where you have your workspace. I'm just gonna quickly rename up the top. So click on the text and I'll call this project Kairos Watches. I can click the little layers button as well when I start generating so I can see my layers here. And we can also collapse this as well. And you can see the AI designer is on the right. Now, when you get these yellow boxes, you can see it's asking for a request. So now it's gonna ask me if I just wanted to design or show me inspiration. I'm gonna say show the inspiration first, just in case I don't like a certain direction we're going in. So I really like the inspirations got here. We've got cyberpunk minimalist, we've got futuristic tech and we've got pixel interface. So you can left click on the images and it'll add that as a reference into the prompt section on the bottom. And it's asking me which of these inspirations do you prefer for the Kairos? So what I can do is just click on the style I like. So for example, I really like this style here, this one, and then I can say, I like these ones and press enter. So it's very conversational. I'm not trying too hard with the prompts. I'm just talking to it. So now it's giving me the design directions. It's giving me multiple IDs here. We can go more holographic, pixel, perfect. Let's go with more of a tactical modular. Now it's up to the design guidance part. It's telling me what it's going to do. So it's got the core idea here, logo system, the color system with different colors and typography, new has Unicar, Space Grotesque, cool, cool. With kerning, that's pretty smart. So it actually understands even kerning, that's that's really cool. It's really covering everything and I can change anything. I could just say, hey, don't use uh, a gray color, um, but use something else and it will update that. But I'm gonna just go ahead and click approve the design guidance and proceed with logo designs. Because I can always go ahead later and generate different images and I wanna see what it's going to do by itself. It's got on the logos. I can look at it on the right, but it also adds it to the canvas. And then if you just use space bar, I can move around. So I really di I'm really i really digging this one, the like little cut there, I think that's nice. And this one, I'm not sure what's going on here. It's a little bit dodgy. That one's kind of nice as well, this text and this K, really cool. And this one, very tactile, very sharp. I like the color scheme with the orange and the navy there, but I can go back to the AI designer and we can tell it which one we prefer. So I'm gonna say uh, I prefer the first one just cause it's really clean, simple. So then I can tell it what to make. I'm gonna just say generate all elements just because we wanna save time here. You also have some other features here. You can add an image, you can use a style when you're ever you're typing something, you can do internet and you can also click on this icon here and do custom mode, which allows you to use other models. If you wanted to use all of that, then tick that on and then type whatever you want. But for this one, I'm just gonna turn that off and use the default. GPT and Flux. The design agent created a color system. I even like how it did the grid, that's really cool. And we've got warm gray, gunmetal, safety, orange. It's pretty smart because this is probably the colors I would pick because you know I'm a fan of orange and grays. <laughs> I use it with my own brand, which is kind of funny. We've got tertiary color. It even gave sort of an example of the UI, how it would look like. With the, uh, with the dark version there. And I really like this style, really cool. For the typography font system, it's picked new has Unica. And for the digital, we've got 13 segment monospace and then space grotesque medium for long form stuff, which is cool. Generated this very nice watch. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's lit, it's modular, it's square, and then with the round in the middle. It's generated the packaging, which is pretty mad, but the watch is different to the design, actual design there. So I'll probably have to make my own sort of design for that, but I like the design here of the cover and the layout. So I can use it as inspiration. Nothing has to be final. That's the cool thing. I can just use it as inspiration. 
you've got Kairos UI and watch face designs. Maybe you can click on that and see the watch face designs. Um, down the bottom, not sure why they put text there. That looks a bit weird. And even here, the dragon bit, I'd have to get rid of that. And also some icons look a little bit messed up, but that's fine. And now I've created the multiple visual identity based on the tackling modular grid design. Would you like to see these elements applied to any additional creative works? I want to say, let's make a website we'll click on that. It's now switched to the flux model. So it's already gone ahead and generated a website. It's using a grid, as you can see, very boxy. Got a lot of modules here and little cards and stuff. Um, love the colors though, what they've done. And obviously the text is not where it's the best. It's a bit broken, but it's good for ideas. Like when I'm creating a website, I can just go and jump into another design platform as well and design that. It's got some UI here. And I think that's great. And I can always go here and say, so I'm gonna say generate a poster ad and have the text, spend your time wisely. And um, yeah, let's see what it does. And there you go, there's that ad that I told it to create. It's got the text there, it's got the watch. It looks pretty sweet. Got some texture in there. I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna refine some of the details in the visual identity and create some more assets that we can use to build the brand. What I can do is click on an image and if I wanna edit something, I can press tab and it'll take me to the little prompt box below, which is the AI editor. I can add an image as well. But what I can actually do is I can say, add a version of the logo with a tagline that says timeless watches. I'll just press enter. Create a dark version of the logo. Invert colors, press enter. And I can just drag it just next to that. And while it loads, you can see it tells you how far it's gonna go. Now, what I wanna do is play around with uh, gradients and generate another font pairing. So what I can do is you can press Control Enter and it'll add it into the chat. Now, create a gradient using this color palette and also create three variations of the palette for a lifestyle series collection. Urban, two, athletic, like sports, and then three, We'll do like a minimal luxury. And then I could add this image as well. I'll also say. And I'll press enter. Now let's go back to the change you made to this logo. So you can see it generated a version just with um, a tagline, timeless watches, which is cool. And then the Kairos logo is, is the same, except for it just doesn't have the cut in the R, which is fine. But we can always tweak that later. Uh, and then we've got an inverted version with the white and black. So. Just by quickly doing quick edits, I love how it just generates fast and I can just create IDs really fast. So it's generated the updated color palette and typography system. I'm loving this gradient that's generated here. And I like how it's got that grid background as well. So uh, we've got orange, we've got a blue and then the gray there. Uh, I really like these two gradients will look really nice and smooth. And it gives you the hex code, which is great. Now we've got the other styles. So we've got the, it kept the main primary colors, which is great. So there's these grays, charcoal color. And then we've got a neon blue, which is perfect for one of the other uh, designs. We've got the athletic collection, so red. And then we've got the luxury, which is a gold and a deep burgundy, which is probably typical for a luxury uh, item. And then we've got some different variations of the font pairing. So we've got New House uh, Unica. And then for the athletic one, we've got Condense or Barlow Condense which is nice. And then for luxury, they've gone with Garamond, which is a typical classic one, which is cool. And yeah, I really like to see the examples that it's created here. And it shows what it looks like on say the UI, because it's a digital watch, you wanna see what it looks like on like a little card or digital icon or something. So I think that's really awesome that it just does that. Okay, so now I'm going to select my main watch, press tab, and then I'm going to say, I'll press enter. Now I'm also going to say, I'm gonna press control enter. I'm also gonna say design three banner ads for each collection watch for each one. One more feature rich, the other minimalist, and then we'll want like a third one. One more lifestyle. Press Enter and we're good to go. It's starting to generate these other watches, which is really nice. Cool. I love this blue version here. We've got the athletic version. It added sort of these red stri stripes and the materials on the band looks a bit different. As you can see, compared to like this material, this looks like more of a, like a felt or leather. Uh, and then this one has some other material. And then we've got like a nice luxury. It's got sort of that classic 
you know, style if you're wearing like a Casio or a Rolex. Um, those chain links on the watch. And then the gold, I love the gold like trim there. Uh, and the font is different, which is cool. Love that. So we've got those three different versions. And then we've got, um, so I'm just gonna select it and drag that up here. So we've got all the versions. Now I'm gonna select all the images and press control enter and it should add all those images in the bottom. And then I'm gonna say design um, batter ads for each watch design. Using the color palette font, switch one, one more for each of rich, the other minimalist, and one more lifestyle with a human. A headline, body, copy, sell it, and put the Kairos logo on there as well. And I'm gonna press enter. Perfect. We got some brand new ads here. So this one, more feature heavy, highlighting some of the features there. The text is not the best, but command your time. It's got the logo there. It's got the watch looking really cool. Then we've got this ad. This looks really clean, minimal. Love that. It's got the grid background. It's showing some um, text there. Uh, Urban intelligence meets street ready design. Car server question. Your city know that the concrete upper form limits. Like this one, how it added subtle grading in the back and added the person. And then you got the shape of the watch. It's not perfect, but it looks like pretty good with the shadows there. And then luxury version, awesome. Now what we can do, control enter, and I can say optimize these images for Instagram story, Facebook shorts, and a Twitter post. And I'll say create multiples of each. Now, one other cool thing you can do as well is create videos. So if you click the top left on the video generator, I can left click here. And all you gotta do is select the image or the frame. So you can do a start of the frame and end of a frame, or you can use a multi-image one. So I can click on this I can click start frame and I can upload something or select from the canvas. So I'm gonna select from the canvas and I'll select this one. And let's just put it on high. And we're gonna say, make the watch slightly move and a press enter generate and that's going to go generate a video for us let's see you can see the ai is generating the different versions for social so we got a long version so this could be for instagram stories um, or a real cover so it's pretty quick in doing that so we can see all the other versions here and i can easily organize it so we can drag it i'm going to add these to the design as well and i'm going to say cool now let's go to the video. We can click the play button there in the little right corner and I'm gonna play this. Cool. Simple animation with the zoom in effect. And this one here, you can see you've got one with the watch moving and it's able to retain all that detail and it's got the screen moving, which is really cool. Got some effects there. It's not 100% with the, those things on the screen, but it's fine. Let's see the versions of the packaging. Loving this design, it looks really great. If only the watch was reflective of the actual design. It's got a carry case, I think that's mad. Look at that, it's got a sort of army vibe to it, tactile, which is cool. And then we've got some other designs here, which is sweet. Oh, this one looks really good, the luxury one. It's got the burgundy inside, it's got the black uh, with the gold. It, I think that, and it's got the grid lines, which is cool, and it's got the orange. I think that's really, that looks mad, this looks really cool. Now, let's ask it to design us some posters. Wow, it's gone ahead and generated it. Three different ideas for uh, for the posters for each one, which are really cool. Fun, simple, and abstract. Really love these designs, let's just go through them. And the cool thing is you can actually tell it what text to use if you have text, but I just taught it to generate some ideas just to, it's good, it's a good starting place. So then you can just build from that. This idea is really cool. Look at that, like that style, like sort of like a flat illustrative design. Got some really cool ones here, like that's, that's nice. And so the text, blueprint version, and then celebratory one here. Love the minimal one for this. And more abstract, which is really cool. So cool, we've got that. And let's just do one more thing. And we've got three different versions of the hero image for our website. Love this, it's really clean. Got a cool call to action there. I like this one, how it's got sort of these grid lines in the back. It's the clean layout and it's really good. Watch is big. And then this one with the texture on the back and the watch does feel a bit angle I don't like, but we can always edit here and change it. And there we have it. We've got a visual identity for our new watch brand Kairos. If you want to try it out for free, I will put a link in the description below. Lovart, it's an all round great tool. It does all the tasks for you and you can do the whole process. And I like how it's got Photoshop capabilities. You can design things, you can remove backgrounds. You can do a whole bunch of things and you have full customizability over what it creates. Anyway, thanks so much. If you want to see me design another brand with AI, you can check this video right here.